Generating and sharing the results from our scientific studies is a priority at BAT. I'm excited to share the latest research from our year-long clinical study of our tobacco heating product, Glow. We know the risks associated with continuing to smoke, but also know that many people do not want to quit. So offering scientifically substantiated reduced risk alternative products is important. In the United States, the Institute of Medicine has defined tobacco harm reduction as decreasing total morbidity and mortality without the complete elimination of tobacco and nicotine use, which recognizes both the potential benefits of quitting smoking whilst acknowledging the fact that some smokers will choose to continue to use tobacco and or nicotine. In its 2012 monograph, the Institute proposed two criteria for considering a tobacco product to be a reduced risk product compared to smoking. First, a significant favorable difference in biomarkers of exposure and biomarkers of potential harm compared to continued smoking. And second, similarity of effect size compared with cessation, concluding that the closer the risks and the exposures from the modified risk tobacco products are to cessation, the more confident a regulator can be in the chances for net public health benefit. To assess these criteria, we initiated our 12-month clinical study on GLOW. As part of our efforts to reduce the health impact of our business, our goal is to have 50 million consumers of our non-combustible products by 2030. This new research provides the first real-world evidence that indicates switching completely from cigarettes to GLOW can reduce the health risks associated with smoking. This is a significant achievement. It shows that when smokers switch completely to GLOW, the reduction in exposure to certain toxicants is similar to the effect of quitting smoking completely. We know that because there is limited epidemiological data about the long-term impact and harm reduction potential of using a reduced risk product compared to smoking. There are those who do not yet support their use. However, we believe they play an important role for current smokers in tobacco harm reduction, and that by continuing to generate data, particularly from clinical studies and also from modeling studies, we can start to build a more complete picture. These data build upon the weight of evidence that we and others have already generated that support the role of tobacco heating products as part of the global tobacco harm reduction effort.